Pisces, dealing with a Pisces, where have you got Pisces in your chart? Welcome to your general reading for 4 to 11 March with Matri Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. We are starting off your reading, Pisces, by taking a look at what your challenge might be for this upcoming week. What are the things that you might have to work through? What are the difficulties? You know, those those things that are generally sort of like a little bit of the, you know, the bad pickle in the pack type of thing. Um, let's see what we have. Happy birthday to all your beautiful Pisceans out there. I hope that it's beautiful. If today's your birthday, if you already had your birthday, if your birthday's coming up, I hope that it's absolutely beautiful for you. So you have got the seven of wands, my beautiful, beautiful Pisces. This is speaking about difficulty letting go. Um, and I sense it almost in the sense of walking away. So it's like you are in this process of walking away from something or someone that is no longer serving you positively. You are in the process of going to that next level. You are in the process of... You know, really just following the path that I kind of feel is the, it's not just the right path for you. It's been the right path for you for quite a period of time there. And, you know, maybe it was just very difficult to face or maybe difficult to deal with, you know. Maybe you've been dealing with some gaslighting over there. That might have been a challenge that you were dealing with. I know that light is very, very strong. I moved my... I moved my desk and now I've got this huge window <laughs> opposite me. So I apologize for that. Um... Let's draw you another card on your challenge. Let's draw you some guidance on that challenge that you are facing with. And you have got the nine of pentacles. So Pisces, what I can tell you, what spirit is communicating here to you, is that even though you might be dealing with a lot of difficulties and a lot of challenges, and you know, you I, I can see you definitely being in that process of walking away, going to that next level, um, you know, of what is really, really serving you. What I can tell you, though, is that I see it working out for you really, really well. So if you've been wondering, you know, can you make it on your own? Have you got what it takes? That sort of thing. I can tell you that the answer is very much yes. All right. The answer is very, very much yes. All right. Speaking of sun, look at those pimples on my arm. That is actually from going outside in the sun and taking my dog for a walk because in South Africa, it's... February is probably the hottest month that we have here. February and sort of like March. It has been excruciating. <laughs> All right, let's do your reading. Okay, cards are coming out right away. So um, victory and success in every way, shape and form is definitely on the agenda for you, my beautiful, beautiful Pisces. Give me a moment, please. I do apologize. I'm going to lower those blinds because that light is it's pretty annoying. There you go. Thank you so much for that. I just feel that it's very harsh on your eyes, maybe. And I, you know, I don't want you to strain your, your beautiful, beautiful eyes. So victory and success in every way, shape and form here for you, Pisces. Also remember with this being your birthday month, the universal energy, you know, that you can benefit from is pretty much strongest for you at this particular point in time. So you can open yourself to that. Knight of Pentacles. Some of you might be thinking of, you know, doing your own thing, going in your own direction, maybe stepping away from a connection, maybe stepping away from something that has, you know, it's no longer serving you to the point that it might have actually become toxic. You know, maybe you've tried really, really hard to make something work out and it just isn't working. And now you realize that it is time to step away. You've been wanting to step away for a while there. And it's Maybe you've been gathering your strength, but I can also see that you have been looking for the solution that is maybe, I can I almost want to say, quote unquote, more amicable, you know, because sometimes beautiful Pisces, you consider everybody so much that you forget to consider yourself. And what I can tell you is that, you know, if you do decide to step away, if you do decide to do your own thing, Pisces, there's a lot of wish fulfillment happening here for you. So maybe you have sacrificed yourself for other people quite a lot, you know, and you have really been doing your best to be there for everyone else. But now it's time for you to be there for yourself. All right. I see beautiful love here. I see life coming together. I see improvement of health for you. Um, is this a definite improvement in bodily health, physical health, emotional health, mental health? So again, you may have been dealing with the most of there for quite a period of time, my beautiful Pisces. But now it's definitely time for you to, you know, to be there for yourself and to choose yourself, even 
And I know that we don't always want to hear this, but even if that means that you have to go with things, you know, on your own there for a while, that's what I get for some of you. For the majority of you, I really get that it's time to sort of like stop, um, you know, almost like, how would I say this? Um, you know, being there for others so much and it's like time to stop putting yourself second and actually be there for yourself, all right? And going forward, that really benefits you in the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ways. So for some of you, there's definitely a stepping away from an energy. Um, there's embracing a new energy. And I actually see that being very, very beneficial for you. If Source could write you a letter, the universe could write you a letter, it would send you the letter of the Ten of Pentacles, which is... You know, it's it's almost like what is yours really coming your way, you know, like like getting what is your due diligence, basically. All right. Um, what you might not see seeing coming is the temperance energy in reverse that just popped out there. So it kind of feels like for many of you, you may have been in a period where you have been really gaslit there for a while, where you maybe doubted your own strength. You didn't know if you can do things alone. You may have been told that you don't have what it takes to do things on your own and, you know, you need me and you can't be without me and that sort of vibe. Um, it might be afraid for you to go with things on your own. Again, there is that space of you kind of like following your own path, stepping away from a connection, um, stepping away from a marriage, stepping away from a relationship, stepping away from an agreement, stepping away from a very special friendship, stepping away from a, a situation that has pretty much sought, you know, is pretty much served its... Um, you know, sort of served its due. And then we have the death card energy there for you for the final outcome. And the death card energy is really an energy of rebirth. It is about leaving behind that which is no longer serving you, that which is outdated, and the universe fully supporting your beautiful Pisces in moving to that next level that is really resonating with you. All right? If what is coming out in this reading is resonating with you, Pisces, I'm going to ask you to place your hand on your heart, take a nice deep breath, welcome in all the universal forces of the universe, and also in a way to say yes to that, if you want to go ahead and like the video, I'd really appreciate that. Thank you for those of you that are already supporting me. It means absolutely everything to me. All right, let's clarify this reading of yours. So let's start with that, um, let's start with that six of ones, which is your current power, which is where you are at the moment. And second record for that coming out, you've got the seven of swords. So definitely again coming up there is the stepping away from a toxic situation, the stepping away from a toxic connection. You might be dealing here and have been maybe holding out for quite a period of time, hoping that a certain individual will change. This person has got absolutely fuck all interest in changing whatsoever. Okay. So with that being said, it's your choice whether you stay around or not. Um, sorry, with that Knight of Pentacles that is crossing you, you've got the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So there seems to be a little bit of an idea that you can't sort of like, um, it's not like you can't live without this person, but it's almost like there is some fear about, you know, surviving without this person. Um, it's almost like you have become the strength and, you know, almost the crutch in a sense for somebody else's own personal weaknesses and so by sort of like manipulating you you know doing the puppet string thing with you it makes them feel better about themselves and fulfilled and worthy and that sort of thing but you're pretty ready to walk away from there okay let's see what card we have there for that four of swords another card in reverse we have got the eight of swords so this is what i can tell you a lot of the fears that you might have in walking away from this connection a lot of those fears will not come to pass. You are a lot more ready to do your own thing than you might realize. And this doesn't just have to be a romantic connection. It could, for example, even be, um, let's say that maybe your parent had a very difficult time, you know, when you were young and you really, really supported them. And now they don't really need you anymore, but it's almost like... Um, you know, you are almost like their Red Bull, basically, you know, they are putting more sort of responsibility on you than what is really fair. Okay, let's look at that nine of um, cups over there. We've got the six of cups. So in the stepping away, it's also you claiming your power back. Um, I can see there's, uh, there's quite a deep wound within you. There is, and, and that is really what made it possible for this person that you're dealing with to sort of like, you know, pull their shenanigans on you. But you are pretty much ready to step away from that. And I, what I really, really like, and this is really brave for you, Pisces, because what I'm picking up is that 
even if that means that you set yourself back. But I feel that you've set yourself back in the past many, many times before, and you're sort of not that open to it. But there is that sense of like, no matter what I'm going to do, I'll take my freedom back. I'm going to live my life. I'm stepping out of the shadow of this person and into the light and the light that I choose. So it's a very, it's a very, very brave thing to do. All right. Um, clarifying that um, four of um, pentacles there for you. You've got the ten of swords. So this is a very clean cut. <coughs> Sorry, a very clean break. This is you really embracing your strengths. This is, um, and a lot of people aren't always so aware of it because they think of Pisces as this, you know, nimble little beings. But when you really step away and you really step into your power and you say, listen, enough is enough, then you might actually display some power and some strength that can really, really surprise some people. And I can really see that you are doing that right now. You know, you're stepping into that power and into the light. So let's look at this um, 10 of pentacles over here which is like if source could write you a letter if the universe if god could write you an email um what clarification do we have on there but what i can tell you is that you know source want to let you know pisces that the strength that you have you may have you know gotten your fingers burnt in all different sort of things believing you need this person and that person to do stuff but it's like you're really seeing your own strength now and who you are and what it is that you can do all right so quite a bright future ahead for you. And then you've got the Empress energy. And the Empress is Venus energy. It's all about abundance. It's all about prosperity and success. It's all about things working out for you. So you are being reminded here, my beautiful Pisces, that you have got the entire universe backing your highest good. You know, sometimes when life is, sorry, when life is tough and life is challenging, we forget that we form part of quite a big, you know, circle and that the entire universe is there for us. And you are being reminded of that. You don't have to do everything on your own. You know, you are not in the race of life alone. Call upon your guides. Call about your upon your angels. Call upon angels. Sorry. Call upon your cosmic resources. All right. Clarifying the temperance in reverse there for what you don't see coming. Ten of Pentacles. You've got some good fortune coming your way. So especially if maybe money or a place to stay. You know, that sort of almost like dependence is a concern for you. The universe want to let you know, Pisces, there's things are actually quite set up for you. The universe is just waiting on you. So things can work out for you really, really beautifully. Yeah? Everything is set up. So whatever your concerns are, your needs are already being taken care of. All right. The, um, for the two of ones over there, that possibility of movement change and travel, possibly moving, moving in, moving out. The universe is saying, you know what, Pisces, just make up your mind. Make up your mind. Choose yourself. The rest will work out for you. All right. And let's look at the death card before we end off with a message there from the universe. So the death card, a very positive final outcome there for you. Actually, oh my goodness. You have got the sun, which is the highest vibrational card in the tarot deck. So it's, it's like life has really been waiting for you, Pisces, in many, many ways to just say, you know what, enough. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm going in a different direction. You won't control my brain and my mind like this anymore. And life is like, nope. You know, pretty much got you. Okay. Let's see what we've got for you for a closing message from the universe. If that resonates with you, go ahead and leave a comment. You know, your comment can really, really help someone else. It can really uplift someone else. It can really help someone else that is maybe going through a difficult time and they're also, um, you know, doubting themselves. We don't always realize what a positive impact we can make on someone else's life, my beautiful Pisces. So direct message from the universe, you've got the emperor, which is really saying, go for new beginnings, go for yourself, you know, putting yourself first. You want to you wanna actually be self-serving. You know, you want to go for you, you want to put yourself first because you've been putting other people first too much. Things are working out there for you with the justice energy, so you don't have to worry too much. There is quite a bit of worry. It's a powerful new beginning there for you with the fool, okay? Powerful new beginning for you there with the fool. Death card energy again, second time around, second confirmation. You are definitely in a space where it's highly advisable for you to let go of that which no longer serves you and to open yourself to the new. And look how beautiful this is, the four of ones, um, traditionally known as the marriage card. So for those of you that are stepping away from toxic situations and you're afraid that, you know, will you be unsupported? Will you not have love again? Will you not have friends? Will you not have family? Will you not have a partner? Will you not be happy? Will this be the worst thing that you can do? The direct opposite of that is actually true. There's quite a lot of positive things for you 
to look forward to um, by really opening yourself up, my beautiful Pisces, and stepping towards that, which is for you really claiming your own power. Okay, so that is what I have for you, my beautiful, beautiful Pisceans and cross watchers and dealing with the Pisces and wherever you have Pisces in your chart. I hope that this helps and I look forward to connecting with you next time. Bye-bye.